Today we'll be going through problem 1 from the Balkan Maths Olympiad 2004. The sequence an, where n is greater or equal to 0, of real numbers satisfies the relation a of n plus n plus a of n minus n minus n plus n minus 1 is equal to a half multiplied by a of 2m plus a of 2n for all non-negative integers m and n where m is greater or equal to n. If a1 is equal to 3, find a of 2004. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. So we have our equation here, and it would be nice to simplify it. Perhaps get rid of the minus m plus n somehow. Hint number two. Try defining a new sequence in terms of the sequence a to get rid of the minus m plus n. Let the new sequence be b, such that b of n is equal to a of n minus n. What will the equation look like now? Hint number three. What happens when you take n equals zero or n equals one with our new equation? Hint number four. Try finding the first few terms of the sequence b of n. What do you find? Does anything look familiar? Try proving your claim by induction. Solution. Taking m is equal to n gives us a of 2m plus a of 0 minus 1 is equal to a of 2m, and hence we get that a of 0 is equal to 1. Now, let's define a new sequence b, such that b of n is equal to a of n minus n. Then our equation becomes b of n plus n plus m plus n plus b of n minus n plus m minus n minus m plus n minus 1 equal to a half of b of 2m plus b of 2n plus m plus n, which simplifies down to 2 times b of m plus n plus b of m minus n minus 2 is equal to b of 2m plus b of 2n. Now, we know that a of 0 is equal to 1, so b of 0 is equal to 1 minus 0, which is 1, and a of 1 is equal to 3, so b of 1 is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. Now, substituting n equal to 0 in our equation gives us 4 times b of m minus 2 is equal to b of 2m plus b of 0, which is equal to b of 2m plus 1. Substituting n equals 1 gives us that t multiplied by b of m plus 1 plus b of m minus 1 minus 2 is equal to b of 2m plus b of 2. It would be nice to know the value of b of 2, which we can find is equal to 4 times b of 1 minus 3 equal to 5, using equation i. And combining this with the fact that b of 2m is equal to 4 times b of m minus 3, we get that equation i i becomes 2 times b of m plus 1 plus b of m minus 1 minus 2 is equal to 4 times b of m plus 2, which simplifies down to b of m plus 1 is equal to 2 times b of m minus b of m minus 1 plus 2. And this relation is pretty useful as we can quickly find successive terms in the sequence b and hence terms in the sequence a. Now let's explore the first few terms of the sequence b to get an idea of the sequence and possibly try and guess the relation. So we get that b of 0 is equal to 1, b of 1 is equal to 2, and b of 2 is equal to 5 from previous working. 
And so b of 3 is equal to 10, minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 10, b of 4 is equal to 20, minus 5 plus 2 is equal to 17, b of 5 is equal to 26, and b of 6 is equal to 37, which seems a lot like b of n equal to n squared plus 1. So let's try and prove that this is indeed the case by induction. Our base case is b of 0, which is clearly 0 squared plus 1 equal to 1. And for our inductive step, we get that b of n plus 1, which is equal to 2 times b of n minus b of n minus 1 plus 2, is equal to 2 times m squared plus 2 minus n squared plus 2m minus 1 minus 1 plus 2, which simplifies down to m squared plus 2 of n plus 2, which is equal to n plus 1 squared plus 1, and so b of n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 squared plus 1 as required. Inductive step complete. So we have shown that b of n is indeed n squared plus 1. And hence, a of 2004, which is equal to b of 2004 plus 2004, is equal to 2004 squared plus 2005, which is equal to 4018021. And so we are done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.